Let's take a look at how to create a gated synth using its sidechain parameters. Um, this is somewhat similar to sidechain compression, except we're using a gate. So here's a quick snippet of the synth we're going to remake. So you can see we're working in Logic Pro. Now the first thing you'll want to do is pull up a synth and lay down a basic melody. So I just loaded up an EXS24. Um, basic Decay 2 was my preset. We'll lay down something like this. Good, so I'll go ahead and quantize that. Just tighten it up a little bit. Okay, load up a gate on this track and just leave it be. So I'll go to my Dropbox here, Dynamics, uh, and we'll choose Silver Gate. Again, just let that sit there for now. Now we need to pull up a trigger track. So I hit this plus box, create software instrument, and we'll just choose another EXS24. So I'll go stereo, bam, let me close this one out, and choose a drum kit. So I'll just choose Anthem Kit 1. It's got a few simple sounds in it. Next, we need to route our trigger track to an auxiliary bus. So I'll just go ahead and I'll rename it as well. Let's call it trigger track. Okay. So if you click on your sends box here uh, and you select bus 1, boom, you get a sends control knob that pops up. Go ahead and press alt and click on that and it'll set it to 0 dB for you. Now pick a quick percussive sound with little decay from your drum kit and play a simple rhythm. I'll play something like this. Okay, let me quantize that. And since this is a trigger track uh, and nothing else, let's go ahead and turn the stereo output off. So we'll go no output. Click back on your gate for your synth track. Now there's a sidechain input in the upper right hand corner. So you want to go ahead and set that to bus 1. So now we're ready to receive sidechain input from our trigger track. And I'm going to manipulate these parameters uh, in real time on this gate so you can see the sound take shape. So as you can see, we've got the beginnings of a gated synth. Um, now you almost always will want to uh, polish this off with some sort of effects. I always use a stereo delay and uh, some sort of flanger or phaser. So I've preloaded these over here and I'm just going to play it without it and then actively engage them so you can see the polishing effect they have. Now your final control on this is back on your sends knob. This will control the overall amount of this effect. <laughs> 